tell us. And you look across the street, and is it Luke Bryan? And is uh, it Luke Kid Bryan? Rocks. And Kid Rock. Right Kid Rock, Luke Bryan, Big and Rich, they all have bars there. I have not Florida, been to Georgia Dallas. Line. I mean, Dallas. I have not been to Nashville in years, and it is such a fun city. You walk into a bar, and they are like three to five levels. And every and level a has a live band. Right, a different band. It's not the same one that they just pipe the music. It's so cool. Can Love we take the show on the road and go there? Uh, Why Steve, not? Well, Steve would not have final say on that. You're, you're asking <laughs> Steve as a favor. Oh, but I also like the FGL house had that, that decision to go slightly off Florida Broadway. Georgia line. Right. Uh, for those in the music industry, I, I use short terms like that. <laughs> All right. Uh, because I was uh, second clarinet in the old junior high. Sure. Uh, I feel like I'm in the business. It's middle but, school now. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I, I, yeah, junior high, is that a put down somehow? Is that not politically correct? I junior? think it just shows you, you can't how say old junior. you are. All right. All right, but it's slightly off Broadway. I think that was a pretty good idea. Okay, and Broadway's right, so the main drag. Right. We have a Broadway here in New York, and speaking of New York, we also have a senator, Kristen Gillibrand, and she is talking about a possible run for 2020, and this is what she tweeted out. She said, our future is female, intersectional, powered by our belief in one another, and we're just getting started. Now, here's the thing. Uh, the future is female. She Marco left out a all of you guys. Left out a gender. Marco Rubio noticed that. He responded with, our future is American, an identity based not on gender, race, ethnicity, or religion, but on the powerful truth that all people are created equal with a God given right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Does Senator Gillibrand know that men get to vote still? I mean, what is she look, do, looking to alienate 48% uh, of the population? Her other problem with uh, Senator Gillibrand is the fact she's alienated the Clintons by saying that, you know, Bill, you know, not supporting the Clintons, who basically she would not have a senatorial career oh, without the Clintons. Right. Yeah, because she condemned what happened with Monica Lewinsky and right. one of Hillary's one of Hillary's campaign managers. Philippe Reigns. Yes, he, re he tweeted out, over 20 years you took the Clintons endorsements money and seat hypocrite interesting strategy for 2020 primaries best of luck I do believe that Donald Trump has tweeted something similar uh, regarding that she would ask for money she and Schumer had asked for money I think that's uh, the way it was in one of his infamous tweets I just like New York lawmakers we did lose two people off the Democratic field Deval Patrick said don't look for me uh, there was a governor of Massachusetts. I like being the former governor of Massachusetts. That's it. I guess he went back to the business world. And Michael Avenatti says, I'm not going to run, hmm. which is shocking because uh, I can't picture that he was even considering running. He, he doesn't want to put his family through that. Yeah. Michael Bloomberg, who I think would be a formidable, formidable opponent mm -hmm. to the president, uh, he said yesterday that if he were to run for president, he might consider selling his company. But think about it. I mean, he would be the richest guy in the race. And Did he, he say it from Iowa? Uh, he was he was at, at an event where mm -hmm. there were uh, some disruptors. We'll see. We'll see. So a lot of them are saying they're going to let us know whether or not it's a yes or a no for them after the holidays. All right, the first of the year. That's good to know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Meanwhile, 25 minutes before the top of the hour, and Carly's got. Here some we go more. again, Carly, Here talking about another presidential election. That's right. 2020 just around the corner. Can you believe it? All right. Take a listen to this. The brutal murder of an American tourist in Costa Rica may have been sexually motivated. Carla Stefaniak's body was found half buried under plastic bags behind her Airbnb. She died from stab wounds and blunt force trauma. A security guard who lived in the apartment next door is under arrest. Now, he's an immigrant from Nicaragua who has reportedly been living in Costa Rica illegally. He became a suspect after giving inconsistent information to police. Carla was in Costa Rica to celebrate her birthday. Heartbreaking. And a North Carolina sheriff stops cooperation with ICE on his first day. Sheriff Gary McFadden officially ending the program in Mecklenburg County. It allowed deputies to run suspects' names through immigration databases and share that information with ICE. McFadden says the program, quote, erodes trust with our community. He says ICE will now need court-issued warrants to gain access to jails. And stop what you're doing and watch this. A person on a bike is nearly hit by an oncoming train. Surveillance video showing the cyclist getting out of the way just as the train comes speeding by. This happening in the Netherlands. The same thing happened to another cyclist at the very same crossing. Get this, last week, officials just put up a fence in hopes of preventing any more dangerous close calls. Yeah, that's necessary. And a little girl gets a lesson in tough love when she's kicked off her bus for bullying. Let me make this extremely clear. Bullying is unacceptable. So today, 
my beautiful daughter is going to walk five miles to school in 36 degree weather. Oh yeah, that'll teach her. The dad driving behind his daughter in Ohio. He says he wanted to hold her accountable after she was kicked off the bus for a second time. That video has been viewed 15 million times on Facebook. So what do you guys think? Is that a good thing to do? Good lesson to learn? It was, it's a long distance. It's, it's 36 degrees. I get the dad's um, anger. But then by posting it on the internet, which is forever, that is going to be out there as, as long as they all live. That's a tough one. I mean, he's tough, which I like. And he's doing something about the bullying. I'm and sure didn't know that it would go viral. And I see yeah. your point there. No, but sometimes yeah. it's like, it's not, I always kind of cringe when they post these videos because I think they're shaming their kids. Although you didn't see her face. Right, but, but, but let me tell you this, if you've ever been bullied and then the parents, how many times do we wish the parents of the person bullying you were strong like that and tough and Hold doing something about it? Exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Because, and there's not going to be a third time. She's not going to bully on the right. bus anymore, that's for sure. Don't post it too cold, too far, but it's good to see her, uh, our parent actually Being say, tough. my kid was wrong, rather than, well, wait a second, uh, there's got to be more to the story and the school's got to be wrong and, but, and the bus wasn't working right and this bus driver's got to take control. Instead, this guy says, okay, it's obviously my daughter's a problem, but just the way in which he did it, almost as if he wants to give himself praise. Well, and he, he, said, he said, my beautiful daughter, I like that he said that, because you can tell he's a loving dad and complimenting her. Um, but you have to think about the kid being bullied, though. Yeah. Sometimes these kids get bullied, and they hate going to school, and it ruins their lives. And some of them, it, it leads to major problems down the road. So. Well, let, it, let us know what you think. Uh, did the, da the dad's heart was in the right place? Did he go too far by posting it? Email us, friends at foxnews.com. We're also on Facebook. Meanwhile, Janice Dean is outside where it is really cold. I can confirm that. Yes, yes. it is cold out here. Uh, but look at my friends that came. You're from, you're from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. What's your name? Michael. And Michael Lecce. 70 degrees, right? It's 70 degrees yesterday, and this is the only time I ever get to wear a coat like this. Okay, well, congratulations. And mother-daughter here, what are your names? Connie. And Janie. Are you having fun so far? Wonderful yes. time. You want to say hi to anybody? Hi, Pat. Is, th is that your, your hus husband. husband who's at home and not having fun with the girls? Let's take a look at the weather. I want to hang out with you girls. Okay, let's take a look at the weather. I'll show you how cold it is because you know what? The cold air is in place and that means the potential for another winter storm. We have a little bit of uh, lake effect snow across the northeast, but our next storm system is going to originate from the west. It's going to travel across Arizona and it's going to bring the potential for not only heavy rain and severe storms, but ice and snow. So this is going to be what is happening on Friday and Saturday. It's going to cause a lot of travel delays. So uh, just keep you posted. Are you girls going to get into trouble today? We're going to try. I'm hanging out with them. All right. You want to say hi to Steve Ainsley and Brian? Come on over here, Mr. Phoenix. Uh, hi, Steve Ainsley and Brian. We're going to try to get into yeah. trouble. Listen, I'll, they I'll, came I'll, to the right city. Tag along I'm hanging with them. <laughs> All right. They're cute. Keep mind, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> 41 minutes after the top of the hour. Christmas is just 19 days away. And if you're still working on that gift, gentlemen, you That's what you wanted days. again this okay. year, right? How about a drone for more than 70% off? Mega Morning Deals Christmas Edition coming up. Right, yeah. or a remote control car. That, so, Ainsley, don't be surprised when you get that. Plus, Brian. Uh, the left has been focusing on Paul Manafort and his alleged ties to Russia. But the feds are reportedly also investigating a Hillary Clinton insider who wears suspenders. Mm -hmm. Judge Napolitano doesn't wear suspenders. He Put goes with the belt.